Yamaha's decision to suspend Maverick Vinales from this week's Austrian Grand Prix has been the subject of a lot of speculation, and many have been questioning Vinales' motives behind such an action that Yamaha have labelled dangerous. The latest rumours have shed some light on this matter. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Rumour Roundup, Yamaha already done with Maverick Vinales. MotoGP has since released onboard footage of the last few laps, and Maverick Vinales was clearly seen riding slowly and blipping the throttle on multiple occasions. Motorsport reports that Vinales was between 5 seconds and 12 seconds slower on every single lap from lap 24 to lap 27 as compared to his average lap time. MotoGP engines, while being incredibly powerful, are built to very tight tolerances and they generally can't handle such erratic riding lap after lap. The big question is what motivated Vinales into taking such drastic actions. According to the inside sources of Motorsport, Vinales had felt that his current engine was low on power and it needed replacing. However, the Yamaha engineers on his side of the garage decided that the engine was fine and that it didn't need replacing. Apparently, Vinales wanted to force Yamaha into changing the engine by riding in the manner he did during the aforementioned laps. This source, who is allegedly from inside Yamaha itself, has been quoted as saying, After this, it's hard to imagine that Maverick will ever get back on a Yamaha. It's a pity because he's a good guy, but he hasn't surrounded himself with the right people. This is not the first time Vinales has done something like this, as in 2012, during his Moto3 days, he left the paddock in the middle of a race weekend just to get himself out of a contract while still being a contender for that year's title. The source mentioned previously summed up their words by looking back at this incident. I don't understand how he could do it again. Rapid Rumours Monster Energy was supposedly already working on a deal for Franco Morbidelli for next year. Apparently, all that remains is for the paperwork to be finalised. Yamaha's test rider Cal Crutchlow has refuted rumours that he will be replacing Maverick Vinales by stating that no, it's not true. The situation is I haven't discussed it with Lin or Mayo at all. So yeah, that's your answer and that's the truthful answer, Cal clarified. But yes, of course, I'm a contracted Yamaha rider. I'm sure I'll discuss some things with Lin and Mayo in due course, he surmised. Yamaha's satellite team, SRT Yamaha, is allegedly at risk of pulling out of MotoGP. This follows confirmation from Petronas that they will no longer be sponsoring the Sepang outfit after the end of this season. SRT have already decided to pull out of Moto3 and Moto2 next year, and supposedly they may be forced to do the same with their MotoGP team as well. Seemingly, Petronas did not like the lack of direction and autonomy for the team as they have been forced to play by Yamaha's rules. This supposedly includes making way for Valentino Rossi and getting only a Spec B motorcycle for last year's title runner-up, Franco Morbidelli. SRT have apparently already renegotiated their deal with Yamaha and will now field two B-Spec bikes next year and try to save their MotoGP project. Tech 3 boss Hervé Poncharal feels that the Raul Fernandez moving to MotoGP announcement was strange at this moment as soon as they got back from summer vacation. He added that everyone seems to get a little nervous, with some places that still don't have a name. His plan was to spend a little more time with their current riders to explain what's happening and what were their plans for 2022. Meanwhile, Raul Fernandez allegedly isn't completely sold on the idea of moving to MotoGP after what would be his rookie season in Moto2. He hinted towards this while addressing the media after FP2 in Austria by saying, I don't have the same opinion as KTM. But, at the end, this is life, and we are big boys, no? Sometimes it's like this and is difficult, but I want to focus on Moto2, he added. Do you believe that SRT will be forced to withdraw from MotoGP as well? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And, if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.